Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this video I'm going to show how to use Fazlino, the GI version, the graphic user interface version uh, in Windows. Okay, so this is um, the application. Remember that the first time you uh, start the application, by the first time, it will install a set of libraries and dependencies that Fazlino needs about Arduino libraries, ESP32 boards and everything. Particularly there's a step when installing the ESP32 electronics. All this step, it takes quite a long time. I'm talking about in the, the overall time of the installation, about 10 minutes, okay? But once done, you, every time you open the, the, the software, it will start just simply by prompting this uh, login uh, window here, as you see. Okay, so we are required to log in. So let me just introduce my password and log in. Uh, okay. Let me refresh here. Oh, whatever. Yeah. So it's um, this is the project's dashboard. Uh, so in which uh, we have list the list of all the projects that we have. And here, uh, let me show because you you can see it here. There's a refresh button I pressed before, and here is a, a plus button that you can use in order to add a new uh, in this case a new project. So it's exactly as before. We can set the project name let's say project 2, we can select the board that we're using. In this case, I'm using a Wemos D1 R32 uh, board. Well, actually, we can use any of these, yeah, uh, because of the electronics I have connected to my computer. And we can select the type, the, the type uh, version of Athlino, but also the type of uh, blocks that we want to display in the language. So we can create it. And once we have it, we have here uh, the project. So we, if we click here, we will be directed, let me just uh, maximize the window, will be directed to the block programming page in which we can generate the code in, in Fatly. Okay, as we saw before in the web page, we have also a button here to display the actual Arduino code that is being generated. So we can use any instruction, let's say, to create a variable, which is, let's say, a global variable here, like, uh, like this one in which I put, uh, let's say, number. And here, it generates the code for this global variable here, as you can see here, okay? So, uh, as usual, we can drag and drop things, we can delete the, the block instructions, and once we are done or happy with our code, what we can do is we can upload the code. So, for that, we have this button here, this play button here, and if we press the button, uh, a window will pop up here. And the first thing you need to uh, make sure is that your board is connected to your PC. In this case, since it's already connected, it's being recognized here as a COM port device that I will use in order to upload the code. And if you need to refresh the, the list of COM ports, then you can press this button here. Also, some boards, they have a, a variation depending on uh, on the, the, the board you have, they might show up some additional um, options here that you can select, okay? This is the code that Fatalino has generated, and at this point of, at this point you can even modify your original code, but this code, uh, this uh, change won't affect the blocks, okay? So I can put here number, a different number, but it won't affect the block, so be careful with these changes, okay? This is if eventually you need to add an, an additional instruction that is not considered in Fatlino or an extra feature or something like that, you can always have the option to modify the code that is being generated. Okay, then the next thing is to verify that your code is fine. This button is used for that purpose. That will execute uh, um, in uh, what is uh, called uh, an Arduino CLI uh, command uh, uh, to compile the code which is used, it's a, it's, a, it's a binary software that takes your code, compiles it, and returns it back so you can upload it later to the, to the electronics. If everything is fine, you will see here that the console output uh, used that uh, show no problems at all. Uh, this was the executed command with the path of your code and everything. And if everything is fine, remember that you need to, uh, in order to upload, you need to, uh, the board to be connected. So you click here, the upload button, and you wait until the, the, the code is uploaded. It takes a time, it's not 
interactive, it this estimated progress should be uh, progressively uh, uh, increasing. But since it's executing an, an external application like Arduino CLI, the command line interface, then uh, it's not able or we're not able to, to, to see the full progress. Anyway, here you have the result of everything and if everything is correct, here it says done and that means that your code is already running in your, in your board. Okay, thank you very much.